Close your eyes, focus on your breath. And as for everything else, regard it with equanimity. We develop equanimity not because we don't care whether we're indifferent. It's because we want to do our work well. We have to maintain our focus on the things that matter. And as for the things that don't matter, the things that we have no control over, we've got to have equanimity for them, because otherwise they get in the way. You see this where the Buddha teaches equanimity in the context of the four Brahma-viharas. He doesn't recommend equanimity on its own. It comes together with goodwill, compassion, empathetic joy. And so you develop equanimity in the areas where you can't be of help. So you focus on the ones where you can, so you can act on your goodwill, act on your compassion and empathetic joy, and not waste your energy on things that are outside of your ability to control. It's like a doctor. It's not like the doctor doesn't care about the patient. That kind of doctor would be heartless and we wouldn't be any good. But the equanimity of a doctor is one where you see there are certain things you cannot change. So you have to accept them. Don't focus your attention there. Focus your attention on the places where you can exercise your goodwill for the patient, your compassion for the patient. As for equanimity and the factors for awakening, there's a place where the Buddha compares some of those factors to the activity of a goldsmith. Sometimes he has to put the gold in the fire, sometimes he has to take it out and blow on it, sometimes he simply looks at it inspects it to see how it's going. And again, the equanimity there goes together with the effort and concentration. That's what the fire stands for, right effort. Blowing on the gold stands for getting your mind in concentration. And equanimity is there to help, to know when is the time to take it out of the fire, when is the time to blow on it. And we don't know what to do, we just look at it for a while. So here again, it, it serves your intention, which is that you really care about the state of your mind. So this is an important quality to develop. When the Buddha was teaching meditation to his son, the first thing he told him was, make your mind like earth. Discussing things get thrown in the earth, but the earth doesn't react. Make your mind like water, wind, fire. Water is used to wash away dirty things. Wind blows dirty things around. Fire burns dirty things. But none of them get disgusted. They do their duty. And that's what equanimity is for, so you can do your duty properly. So you can see things clearly. If your mind is wobbling all over the place, everything else in the world seems to wobble. But if your mind is solid, then you can see what changes, what doesn't change. You can see subtle things that you couldn't see otherwise. So you cultivate equanimity because you care, not because you don't. When you understand this point, it clears up a lot of misunderstandings.